Hi and welcome to an instructional video on the Bromic Medi Fridge. This video will explain how to use the Medi Fridge to correctly ensure your vaccines are stored safely and following the Strive for Five National Vaccine Storage Guidelines. Positioning the Medi Fridge here. Correctly positioning your Medi Fridge before you turn it on is extremely important. It directly affects your unit's performance and ability to maintain the correct temperature inside the unit. Ambient conditions. Your Medi Fridge is designed to be used indoors in an environment of no higher than 30 degrees Celsius. A room temperature higher than this may negatively affect your Medi Fridge's ability to maintain the safe temperature range of 2 to 8 degrees inside the unit. For the Medi Fridge's best performance, we recommend keeping the room temperature between 20 and 25 degrees Celsius. Ventilation. The Medi Fridge must be placed in a dry and well ventilated space. Observing ventilation requirements is vital for the proper and trouble-free operation of the Medifridge. Allow at least 150mm clearance around the back and sides of the Medifridge to provide enough room for the unit to draw in cool air and disperse warm air unobstructed. Other points to note when positioning your unit. Place the unit on a flat and level surface. Do not place the unit near heat sources. Do not place the unit in direct sunlight. Do not position your unit in doorways or spaces prone to drafts. Allow adequate room for the fridge door to open unobstructed. Setting up before use. Bromic recommends taking steps to ensure the temperature inside your Medi fridge reaches the safe temperature range before stocking sensitive products. It will minimise the likelihood of the product being exposed to temperature variations. To do this, we recommend first loading your Medi fridge with non-sensitive products capable of holding thermal mass, such as bottled water. Leave the fridge to run until the safe operating temperature range is reached. It is also recommended to monitor your Medi-Fridge for a minimum of 48 hours before storing sensitive stock to ensure temperatures are maintained between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius. During this time, it is best to keep door openings to a minimum. Loading products. Please follow these simple rules when loading your sensitive products to ensure the temperature inside your Medi-Fridge remains stable and within the safe range. Position your top shelf at the marked location as indicated. It will assist with maintaining optimal airflow inside your unit. Before placing your products in the unit, ensure they are pre-chilled to the safe temperature range between 2 and 8 degrees. We recommend placing your products in the centre of the shelf or to distribute them evenly, allowing at least 30mm spacing between containers or perforated baskets to allow air circulation. Never stack containers and do not load the fridge to excess. It obstructs cold air circulation and decreases your Medi fridge's ability to maintain a stable temperature throughout the unit. Always place cold mass, such as water bottles, in unused spaces. It is essential for maintaining the correct temperature when a door opening occurs. Keep door openings to a minimum. When you open the door, ensure it stays open for no longer than 30 seconds at any time. Before opening the door again, allow at least one minute for the fridge temperature to stabilise. Preset parameters. Following industry guidelines, your Medi fridge is preset to operate in a vaccine safe temperature range of 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. Changing these settings can dramatically affect your unit's performance and even jeopardise your vaccine safety. It is strongly recommended that the parameters are not adjusted without the consultation of a qualified refrigeration technician. For further assistance, please contact Bromic Service. Using the maximum and minimum temperature recorder. As a standard feature of your Bromic Medi fridge, it will record the maximum and minimum temperatures. Depending on how the unit is being used, you may need to record these temperatures over a given period of time and reset if necessary. Checking the maximum and minimum temperatures on the MED 0140 GD. To display the maximum temperature on the MED 0140 GD, press the high low button once. To display the minimum temperature, press the high low button again while the maximum temperature is showing. The minimum temperature will then be displayed. To reset the maximum and minimum recorded temperatures, hold the high-low button for 6 seconds. The display will flash for 3 seconds and an audible noise will be heard. The new maximum and minimum temperatures will be recorded from this point to the next reset. Checking the maximum and minimum temperatures on the MED 0220 GD and the MED 0374 GD. To display the maximum temperature, press the up arrow button. High will be displayed on the screen followed by the maximum temperature recorded. It will be displayed for five seconds or until the up arrow button is pressed again when the controller will turn to the normal display. To display the minimum temperature, press the down arrow button. Low will be displayed in the screen.
followed by the minimum temperature recorded. It will be displayed for 5 seconds or until the down arrow button is pressed. It will then return to the normal display. To reset the maximum and minimum recorded temperatures. While either maximum or minimum temperatures are being displayed, press and hold the set button for 3 seconds. The screen will display RST. The RST will start blinking and then return to the normal display, signifying it's been reset. Positioning the data logger. Included with your MIDI fridge comes a data logger. This data logger can be used to record fridge temperature over longer periods of time and graph temperature performance. It is essential to ensure the logger or logger's probe is placed in the optimal position to get the most accurate readings. With your fridge, you will receive either the log tag logger or the HLP MIDI log 2. Placing the data logger. Place the logger on one of the middle shelves, either amongst or alongside your products. For the best results, we recommend placing your logger inside a box with product. It ensures the logger is exposed to the nearest conditions to your product and allows for a more accurate temperature log. It is important to note that the temperature reading on your MIDI fridge and the one recorded by the data logger may not always be identical. This is normal and to be expected. As the fridge controller and the data logger's probe record temperatures independently, they do so from different positions inside the fridge, which may cause temperature variances. It is not a cause for concern as long as both readings are within the safe temperature range. Should either your logger or the fridge controller start showing temperatures outside of the 2 to 8 degrees Celsius range, we advise you refer to the National Vaccine Storage Guidelines for further direction. Following these simple recommendations will ensure your MediFridge provides best performance and keeps your vaccines safe. As always, Bromix customer service team are on standby should you need any additional assistance. Thank you for choosing Bromix Refrigeration. Bromix Refrigeration. Quality matters.